Welcome to another video with Team Olympus TCG. Uh, today we have a box opening of the very first booster set of Dragoborn, that new game by Bushiro that uses dice. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get to opening this. And Apparently we're very wrong on the rules. Eh, yeah, one ruling, and but it makes a huge difference. Let's go ahead and make sure that we get the box set up, looking all nice and pretty. There you go. See. So, I'm just going to pull out the packs. It's 20 packs per box, uh, 8 cards per pack, and each box comes with dice. Did I pull the dice out of them, I guess? No. Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, you did. Each uh, box comes with dice and um, a set of the banners right here. So, that's what each box comes with. And it's Bushi Road, so you have to use the official dice, so you basically have to buy a trial deck or a box to get the official dice, at least right now. And all of your cards, including your banners, have to be sleeved, so... Uh, it's Bushi Road. It's whatever. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get opening. I think Tyler might open some packs, too, and then hand them to me, maybe. I'm not sure what the pull rates are for this game, like, at all. Garbage. But, hey. It's Bushi Road. Yeah. Uh, for the first pack, we've got a Goblin Toe Stabber as a red, Despair for Spell as a black, Stone Skin Charger, Growing Touch, Elven Far Striker, Death Trap, Guardian of the Forest uh, as a hollow. You can kind of see the shininess on it. And Tireless Hunter right there, if you can see that. So, I'm not sure what any of these do, like, at all. I just know that uh, once we found out the price for the box... Uh, that way you know rarities. Yeah. Once we found out the price for the box, we were just like, okay, sure. And we found out that we were wrong about the certain stuff in the game. Uh, like that one ruling, then it actually made sense. So, uh, here's the rarities right here, if that'll focus. Uh, we've got 10 double rare, uh, 30 rare, 30 uncommon, and 50 common cards. And the parallel cards of all normal cards in the set, so I'm pretty sure that just means they can all come shiny and rare. Yep. Alright, so for this first card, we've got uh, Tanglewood Menace, Frontier Explorer, Explosive Counter, Lilith's Charmer, Mischievous Sprite, Dragon's Presence, the Prismatic King for our Hollow and Owen Bladesmith. Awesome. What rarity is that? Let's see if we can figure that can out. Tell by how quick. many circles there are. It's three circles, so that's rare. Awesome. Okay, cool. Here's the next. Okay, I thought the packs had different artwork on them for a second. I was about to show that off, but they don't. They all have this same artwork right here, but it looks pretty cool. I like it. Now for the second, or third pack, my bad, we've got a Timid Scout, we've got the Ripper, we've got Runic Battlesmith, we've got a Drawstay's Disdain, Goldleaf Hunter, uh, Spleen Shooter Goblin, uh, Springleaf Angel, and we have Replenish the Rings. Uh, we didn't get a hollow in this pack, did we? No, we didn't. You are not guaranteed hollows. Not guaranteed hollows. That makes me a little bit sad, but oh well. Uh, then we've got Hidden Blade, Wandering Apparition, uh, Althane's Blessing, Centaur Ranger, Death's Trap, Burbo Shrewd Merchant, The Prismatic King, uh, as a non-hollow, which is awesome. Then we have our first double rare, Eleanor, Queen of Storm. Awesome. I really like the artwork on that. So I'm probably not gonna end up like doing this for all of them. I'm just gonna stack them on top of each other, but just for now, you can kind of see what we've got out of the first four packs. Uh, you got Power of a Conqueror, All Guns Blazing, Blade Dance Rogue, Mind Flayer Demon, Rejuvenate, Succubus of Deception, very fan servicey, uh, Plato Accomplished Scientist, and another double rare. We got Violon, Great Horned General. So, not a bad pack at all. 
the six pack we've got Displacer as a spell, Earth Crack, Rattleborn, Rattlebone Fighter, excuse me, Logris Swiftblade, Ravenwing Mistress of the Hunt, Rejuvenate, Hajim Righteous Blade, and we have a Jill of the Dark Reigns. So two rares in that pack, not bad, not bad. Go ahead and stack that up over there. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, goodness. Uh, we've got an Earth Crack, Rattlebone Fighter, Logra Swiftblade. This seems very familiar. Tanglewood Menace, Nature's Tomb, Goblin Madcap, a Holographic Expedition Merfolk, and Falfast the Lost Wind for our rare. And I'm putting the shinies on top because I'm a hollow whore, but I probably should be putting the actual rare cards on top. Oh well. Uh, we've got Frontier Explorer, Explosive Counter, Lilith's Charmer, Frontline Stormer, Ancient Gnarlwood, Sunscale Swordsman, Hidden Arts, Water's Edge Shuriken, and Telios, uh, Erstwhile Guardian for our rare. We've got Tide Chaser Captain, Bothered Orc Wife, Death Metal Rotter, I love this card. Uh, Rookie Knight, Flesh Shredder, love this card too. I just like all the black cards, the zombies that are just rocking out on their dead guitars and stuff. Uh, Allied Front, Hidden Blade as a hollow, and then Midnight Bizzer for a rare. So I think we're about halfway through the openings over here. Uh, we've got Harpy Huntress, Grave Champion, Earthen Guard Golem, Fleetwing Sprite, Black Market Arms Dealer, EMP, Centaur Ranger, and Zerus the Battleforged for our rare for this pack. I really hope we get that shiny land. It's not gonna happen. No. Wandering Orc, Soul of the Lost, mm -hmm. Sunscale Sage, Leilania's Call, however you wanna say that, Shield Break, Pyroblast, Cavalier Nosferatu, Sunscale Dragon. Okay, so this comes with a lot of the cards probably all the cards that were in the trial deck, but I've seen a lot of them that were in my black trial deck. Uh, like this one. Uh, Death Metal Rotter, Rookie Knight, Timid Scout, The Ripper, Hidden Art, Water's Edge Shuriken, Allied Front, Death and Decay. That looks pretty cool. And Kedar, Dragon Mage, Adept. And now I'm having trouble picking up the next pack. Now we've got Veteran Knight, Blood Scent Arachnid, Expedition Merfolk, Hidden Blade, Spellweaver Magus, Cavalier Nosferatu, Giganter Weevil, and Fleur Tide of Avarice for our rare. Uh, then we've got Runic Battlesmith, uh, Adraste's Disdain, Goldleaf Hunter, Primate. Javelinier, Gilman Raider, Springleaf Angel, Balthalos, Devourer of Hope. That sounds pretty dark. And we have Fafnir, Volatile Fire, as our rare. And actually, that's a double rare. So even better. We've got Wondering Apparition, Athlane's Blessing, Power of a Conqueror, All Guns Blazing. Blade Dance Rogue, The Keeper, Tinglewood Druid, and Sinister Festering Stringman. He actually looks pretty darn cool. Then we've got Bone Club Giant, Base Wrecker, pretty cool. Veteran Knight, Blood Scent Arachnid, Expedition Merfolk, Tinglewood Druid, Harpy, Ember Mage, and for our Next card is a double rare, Shadow Crest the Subjugator. We've got Frontline Stormer, Ancient Gnarlwood, Tide Chaser Captain, Bothered Orc Wife, Bloody Baroness, 
Goblin a Madcap, Sanctuary Enforcer for a Hollow is a rare, and our non hollow rare is Vergsk, the Plunder of the Deep. I have no idea how you're supposed to say that name right there, but that's how I'm going to say it. Vergsk. We've got Sunscale Sage, Leilania's Calling, Shield Breaker, Bone Club Giant. Base Wrecker again, Guardian of the Forest, Pyroblast, and Storm Branch. Knowledge of Ages for a rare. And then we've got Primate Javelinier, Gilman Raider, Wandering Orc, Soul of the Lost, The Researcher, Balthalos Devourer of Hope, A Holographic Wandering Apparition, which is pretty cool, and a rare uh, as Glouse a Will of Steel. And then for our last pack, we have Mind Flayer Demon, Sunscale Aesthetic, or Aesthetic whatever, Giganter Weevil, Hidden Arts Reverse Thunderstrike, Arasius Blood of the Justicar, Harpy Ember Mage, Holographic Springleaf Angel, and a rare Teriel High Priestess. So overall, I feel like it was a pretty good box. Uh, we got a few double rares out of it. I'm not sure exactly how many, but it was like $77 for the box after taxes and everything. So that's really not bad. And it is the first set, so you can definitely build a deck or two or three or all of them out of this. Probably not all of them. Well, you can't build all of them because card numbers, but still. Um, yeah, I like it. I'm pretty sure we're probably just going to start building decks now and just having fun with it and seeing where we go from there. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Feel like If you feel like it, then subscribe. And always, uh, please support us on Patreon. Every little amount helps. And we'll see you all next time.